All right, guys, uh, this is another on the job training video. So we have created the text, right? So now we want to animate this uh, text uh, pretty quickly. So uh, if you haven't used uh, text animation presets inside After Effects, uh, or if you are going to use this uh, first time, you cannot uh, type the text animation uh, preset name here. So you have to get familiar with this. So you can see this is the effects and preset panel. Here you can see presets. In here there is a subfolder called uh, text. Under that subfolder you can see some several subfolders like uh, 3D text, uh, 3 animate in, animate out, stuff like that. So you can expand that now you can see the actual preset right. So you have no idea about what is this uh, preset looks like. Uh, so in order to apply a text animation preset uh, you must place the current time indicator to the place where you want to uh, start this animation. So in this case I want to start this animation at the uh, first second. So I place the current time indicator to that place and I can go to this if, uh, preset and I can double click on it. So now you can see some changes has been happened. So let's play this. So you can see we simply uh, added that uh, animation preset. Uh, of course that is not a pretty good one. So I press control Z. Uh, so once you get familiar with the presets you can easily type the uh, preset name like let's say bullet train. So you can see uh, we get that preset and when you play back you can see uh, we can do this. Uh, here's another trick, right? So this is the working area. You can press the B key to uh, set the beginning of the working area and you can set the uh, end key on the keyboard to set the uh, out point of the working area. So when you play, uh, press the space button, it only preview the uh, selected uh, working area. So that's a cool trick. So you can see now we easily added the text animation preset to our text layer. So if you don't like and if you after a few steps you want to, if you want to remove this animation and try something else you can go to animation uh, and you can see here option remove all text animations. So when you click on that it will remove all the text animation presets that uh, we have applied to this layer. So we can try something else. So let's say uh, I got the zoom forward. Zoom. Uh, let's say we try that. So now when you play that you can see this is the uh, animation. So uh, when you select the layer and press the U key uh, two times. So you can expand the animated uh, keyframes uh, that is actual keyframe uh, that is uh, happening this, that is uh, helpful to happening this uh, animation. So this is an uh, out animation. So you can uh, select do these uh, two keyframes and you can uh, right click and keyframe assistant. Here you can see a uh, time reverse keyframe. So that is the meaning. What is the meaning of it? It means the it uh, bring the end keyframe uh, for the beginning and it put the beginning keyframe uh, to the end. So now when we play this, uh, we can get this uh, it's kind of pretty nice uh, intro uh, entering animation. Like right? so that is how you use the text animation presets uh, inside Adobe After Effects. So you can browse uh, these animation presets uh, if you have installed Adobe Bridge. You can go to animation and browse presets and it will open the Adobe Bridge. Uh, by that way you can apply effects to uh, your layers uh, from Adobe Bridge. Right so uh, uh, now I am opening the Adobe Bridge so it will take a little time. So this is the presets folder inside uh, Bridge and we can go to the text animation section and we can see 3d text so here you can see the some kind of preview of the uh, text animation and the uh, its uh, relevant name uh, by that way we can find the uh, by that way we can find the what is the animation when you select that uh, you can play that animation right so by that way we can get an idea but uh, i'll show you a cool trick so if you want to apply an uh, uh, animation preset from uh, Adobe Bridge, uh, that is the uh, same uh, process. Uh, let's remove the animation currently in this layer. Remove all text animations. So select the layer and go to Adobe Bridge and uh, select the text animation you want. Let's say we want to try something uh, like uh, something like this. Just double click on it and it will apply to the layer. So when you play this. You can see that is the animation preset we just added. 
So uh, there are so many animation presets like uh, if you go to this section you can see under text uh, animations. So I'll make that full screen. So this is the effects and presets panel. And here you can see these are all the text animation presets, right? So After Effects comes with a lot of uh, text animation presets, uh, but a uh, lot of uh, these animations are not very professional. We cannot use them on uh, professional work. Uh, because of that, uh, here's a scenario. I'll, I'll show you this uh, website. This is uh, Motion Island. When you go to this website and you can see all the text animation preset uh, previews like here. Let's expand 3D Dex. Uh, you can see a preview of uh, animation of the uh, how the, the each animation looks like, right? So when you uh, apply these effect animation presets inside After Effects, uh, you would get uh, something like these things. You can by looking at these things, uh, you can get an idea about the name of the animation preset and what kind of uh, look you can get, right? So let's say animate in effect, right? So once you know about the name, you can copy the name, right? So you can go to the effects and preset. Uh, let's uh, let's create a new layer. So type tool and text. So we type the layer and we just copy the uh, animation we want. Got the effects and preset and just paste. Now we got that uh, decoder fading uh, preset, uh, but remember to place the current time indicator where you want to and start this animation just double click now we applied that uh, preset so you can see it's a pretty longer uh, preset so you have to uh, preview longer so that's the easiest method so in your free time uh, go to this website and get familiar with the available animation presets uh, so you can see uh, among those things uh, you can find some uh, cool professional uh, animation presets uh, that will definitely helpful to enhance the uh, productivity of uh, your motion graphics uh, workflow. So that's how you use the text animation presets. So stay tuned for this kind of on the job training videos.